स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर नंबर थ्री मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द डेरिवेशन ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी हैव डिराइव टू इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वन थिंग मोर यू शुड नोट इन योर नोट बुक कि फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी इक्वल्स टू यू प्लस ए टी दिस इक्वेशन नंबर वन a motion equation equation of motion number 1 is also known as velocity time relation this equation of motion is known as velocity time relation similarly the second equation of motion we have derived h uh, s equals to ut plus half at square is also known as distance time or position time relation position time this should be also small position time relation so you should also mark in your notebook ki first equation of motion is known as velocity time relation and second equation of motion is also known as position time relation or distance time relation or distance or displacement distance or displacement time relation time relation now let's start the derivation of third equation of motion we are going to start this uh, third equation of motion derivation so uh, for starting this uh, ek derivation uh, we are taking the definition of instantaneous acceleration instantaneous acceleration is equal to d dt of v or generally dv by dt so a equals to dv by dt this equation can be written as dv by ds into ds upon dt so this dv by dt can be written as dv by ds multiplied by ds by dt uh, it seems to uh, it seems here ki ds is multiplied in numerator and denominator both ऐसा लग रहा है कि डी एस से न्यूमरेटर डिनोमेटर दोनों में मल्टीप्लाई किया गया है बट यू कैन एज्यूम दैट कि डी एस इज मल्टीप्लाइड इन न्यूमरेटर बोथ बट एक्चुअली इट इज द चेन रूल वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दिस चेन रूल ड्यूरिंग दैट डिस्कशन अबाउट द डिफ्रेंसिएशन सी हेयर कि वी हैव डिस्कस डी वी बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी वी बाई डी टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई डी टी फॉर डी एक्स सो दिस इज द चेन रूल सो वी आर अप्लाइंग हेयर द चेन रूल फॉर दिस स्टेप एक्वल्स टू डी वी बाई डी एस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई डी एस बाई डी टी और एक्वल्स टू यू नो दैट डी एस बाई डी टी वॉट इज डी एस बाई डी टी डी एस बाई डी टी इज द इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलॉसिटी सो इट इज वी finally v dv by ds this ds by dt kya ban gaya because ds by dt is the instantaneous velocity v so here next step by cross multiplication finally you have a ds is equal to v dv a ds is equal to v dv equation number 1 yesterday we have a uh, we have one right diagram to use the limits i am drawing here again see this suppose o is the observation point from where we are measuring the distance or displacement point a at which time is zero position is x zero and uh, so as zero we have mark here s0 and suppose the velocity initial velocity u at a and at point b when time is t time becomes t uh, displacement becomes s and velocity becomes v 
we have used yesterday this diagram to uh, mark the to boundary the uh, integral integral quantity so again we will use the integration method to derive the third equation of motion now you can write here ki uh, integrating both side integrating both side integrating both side both sides with proper limit proper ya suitable limit proper limits integrating equation number 1 integrating equation number 1 with both side with the proper limits now see what are the limits see this left side is d for ds means we have to uh, use the limits of displacement in left side see the right side this is v velocity so we have to use the limits of velocity on right side so see here this is the symbol of integration a ds is equal to v dv integration ha huh. now limits see here we have to use the limits of velocity and displacement so see here when displacement is s0 velocity u when displacement becomes s velocity becomes v we have to use this limit see here when velocity was u it is u small u means initial velocity then displacement was s0 and when velocity becomes v displacement becomes s see here with the diagram कैसे लिमिट बनानी है इसको चेक कर लो क्लियर कर लो वेन वेलॉसिटी इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी वॉज यू डिस्प्लेसमेंट पोजिशन इज एस जीरो वेन वेलॉसिटी बिकम्स वी देन डिस्प्लेसमेंट बिकम्स एस सो दिस इज द लिमिट फॉर द इंटीग्रेशन हेयर नॉसी हेयर अगेन ए इज द कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन पुट इट आउट साइड ऑफ द इंटीग्रल so a integration s0 s of of remaining number remaining uh, quantity is only 1 8 1 ds and similarly here this is u you can uh, integrate this right side because uh, we have to we have to know yes integrating this uh, right side what is the uh, integral of v with respect to v it is v square by 2 by using the general formula of integration with limits u to v again i am reminding you what is the formula for this integration formula is integration of x to the power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 by using this formula we have integrated this right side v ka v means kya v for 1 so it is v square by 2 Now see, left side integration. One integration we have uh, uh, discussed yesterday. Integration of one with respect to s is s. So a integration is now s, and limits are s zero to s. And this is uh, let's use this limits of let's apply the limits to this integral. V replaced by v. So v is You can take out one by two outside of the limit boundary. So this is uh, v square minus v replaced by u. So u is square. A method is to apply the limits. First variable is replaced by the upper limit minus variable is replaced by the lower limit. So this is the step. Or a. This is s replaced by s to s s replaced by s zero s zero equals to half v square minus u square. Now see here s minus s zero. This is the displacement. 
is the displacement in time t s minus s0 is the displacement in time t yesterday also we have discussed about ki s minus s0 means s0 may be 0 s0 will be 0 when when the uh, observation starts from the reference point O से ही अगर observation start कर दिया गया होता, O से ही जो distance measure की जा रही है, O से और O पे ही अगर वो object को observe करना भी शुरू कर दिया गया होता, उस case में S0 will be zero, so finally A S equals to half V square minus U square, you can mark here why, why we uh, uh, replace S minus S zero with S, so because yeah, so you go when when s zero is zero, s zero is zero, or why s zero zero? Because when observation starts from the reference point O. So now you are getting the third equation of motion by cross multiplication. It is v square minus u square equals to two as or v square equals to u square plus 2as so this is the third equation of motion also right here this is the third equation of motion also known as velocity displacement relation yeah velocity position relation also known as also known as velocity position velocity position relation या कोई बोल सकता है position velocity relation और displacement for velocity relation so this is about the third equation of motion now one more relation is there Note on the heading. Next heading is distance in distance traveled in m second distance traveled in m second. In some books, in some books. It is written as fourth equation of motion. So uh, I am writing here just only distance traveled by the body in nth second. We have to discuss here. So what do we mean by this term first? Nth second. Nth second means third second, fourth second, fifth second, seventh second, or nth second. We have to discuss here. We have to uh, uh, derive the relation, derive the equation for. Measuring the distance traveled by the body in nth second. Just say, okay, means uh, what is the distance traveled by the body uh, for the given problem? What is the distance traveled by the body in fifth second? See here. Suppose the observations are taken at uh, once one second, two second, third second, four second, fifth second. These are the times. At one second, distance is x zero. At uh, yeah, x one you can mark it. At one second, displacement x one. At two second, displacement x two. At three second, displacement x three. At four second, displacement f x four. Or at fifth second, sorry, not in the fifth second. In five second, displacement is x five. There's a difference between. Distance traveled by the body in n second and nth second. Here we have nth second, not n second. अगर कोई कहता है what is the distance traveled by the body in n second मतलब total n second में. जैसे example में check करो. Suppose uh, question है इस दिए हुए diagram पे दिए हुए diagram पे symbol symbol से बनाया गया diagram. कि what is the distance travel with the body in 5 second in 5 second means 0 to 5 suppose this is t0 at point o 
फ्रॉम वेयर द ऑब्जर्वेशन आर टेकिंग ओ से अगर ऑब्जर्वेशन ली जा रही है मीन्स ओ से ही डिस्टेंस मेजर की जा रही है सो द टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विद बॉडी इन फाइव सेकेंड इज एक्स फाइव ध्यान सुनो क्वेश्चन पूछा गया वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई द बॉडी इन दिस डायग्राम इन फाइव सेकेंड तो इट इज एक्स फाइव बिकॉज ये ये ओरिजिन हो गई मीन्स ओरिजिन और रेफरेंस पॉइंट और फ्रॉम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस ओ टू दिस पोजिशन इज एक्स फाइव सो डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल द बॉडी इन फाइव सेकेंड इज एक्स फाइव हेयर इन दिस डायग्राम बट दे इज अ डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन इवेंट वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विद बॉडी इन फिफ्थ सेकेंड फिफ्थ सेकेंड मीन्स फोर सेकेंड तक इट इज अबाउट द फोर्थ फोर्थ सेकेंड एंड वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विद बॉडी इन फिफ्थ सेकेंड मीन्स दिस इज द डिस्टेंस दिस इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विद बॉडी इन फिफ्थ सेकेंड मीन्स यहां लिखा देखो डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय ट्रेवल्ड बाय द बॉडी इन एंड सेकेंड एंड सेकेंड इज एस एन माइनस एस एन माइनस वन सी दर्म यर एस एन माइनस एस एन माइनस वन एस एन इज द टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई द बॉडी इन एन सेकेंड एंड एस एन माइनस वन सिंबल डिनोट द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई द बॉडी इन एन माइनस वन सेकेंड सो डिफरेंस ऑफ दीज टू विल गिव यू द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई द बॉडी इन एंथ सेकेंड सो फॉर दिस डायग्राम द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई द बॉडी इन फिफ्थ सेकेंड इज या सिंबल से मार्क करते हैं This is s nth. So here again, distance at fifth second. Distance at fifth second is equal to x five minus x four. X five minus x four. So for this diagram, this is the expression. Now we have to derive. तो ये तो बताया कि मीन्स वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विद बॉडी इन एंथ सेकेंड और ये हमेशा ध्यान में रखना डिफरेंस दिमाग में रखना कि देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई द बॉडी इन एंथ सेकेंड और डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विद बॉडी इन एंथ सेकेंड दोनों में डिफरेंस है नाउ लेट्स डिराइव द रिलेशन फॉर दिस टॉपिक Let's use the uh, definition of instantaneous velocity. It is v equals to dx or ds. You can mark here ds upon dt. जो x बोलते हैं x भी position या displacement पर बिल्डिंग करेगा और also here s represents the displacement or position. So v equals to ds upon dt or ds is equal to V D T. Now see the uh, actual position for this expression. Suppose at point A, when t equals to n minus one second, and at B, t is n second. This is n minus one second. This is n second. and the position at point a from reference point o is sn minus 1 and position of the object your body which is in motion in n second is sn so we have to measure here sn minus sn minus 1 abhi last jo likha hua tha formula hamare paas kya hai sn i'm writing here sn n equals to s n minus s n minus one. We have to measure this value. अगर ये measure कर ले जाते हो means this is the distance travel by the body in n second. So we have to measure the difference of these two.
Now see here. Ds is equal to uh, using the first equation of motion again v equals to u plus at dt equation number one kaise ho gaya? because we know that v equals to u plus at so it is u plus at by equation equation of motion first Again, you can write here integrating both sides. I'm not writing here, but you you will write integrating both sides of equation number one with suitable limits. Now limits to check karo. This is ds and this is u plus at dt. And now let's uh, about, let's see about the limits. यहाँ ds left में है means इनकी limits distance या displacement या position को लेके होगी in right side it is time so we have to put the limits of time for this integration see here तो what are the limits when time is n minus one when time is n minus one second displacement is sn minus 1 and when time is m second then displacement becomes sn so these are the limits so displacement is sn minus 1 kis time per n minus 1 second per or displacement becomes sn for which time this is for n second these are the limits limits lagana bahut easy hai but uh, Diagram को explain करना होगा आपको अगर diagram clear है then you can put the correct limits for the integration here now let's integrate this function equation this equation so here what is the uh, term for integration it is 1 only so integrating 1 with respect to s it is s only limits are sn minus 1 and sn equals to here we have two terms so integration will apply on both terms separately so let's separate integration n minus 1 to n of u dt plus integration of at dt with limits n minus 1 n Now next step. So now let's apply the limits. S replaced by S n becomes S n minus S replaced by S n minus one. So this is n minus S n minus one. So this is the term for which we are deriving the relation. That is the distance traveled by the body in nth second. Here is difference here. So uh, see the right side. U is the constant. So remaining term only 1 dt n minus 1 n plus remaining term a outside of the integral and t dt n n, n minus 1 n. I think it uh, this is visible in the board. So Sn minus 1 minus F, Sn minus 1 it is equals to S nth. S nth means distance travel with the body in nth second. It is equals to U. Now integration of 1 with respect to time it is T. Limits are N minus 1 N plus A. Huh, now integration of T with respect to T. It is 1 now, exponent of t is 1 here. So using the general expression, formula kya hai? x to the power n dx, integration of x to the power n dx, it is equals to x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So it is t square by 2. Okay, na? x to the power 1 plus 1, 2 divided by 1 plus 1, 2. Limits are n minus 1 n. Again, s nth 
equals to u. Let's apply the limits here. T replaced by n. So it is n minus t replaced by n minus 1. So it is n minus 1. Very easy here. Limits to apply karna. Upper limit, variable is replaced by upper limit. First, then minus lagao. Then variable replaced by lower limit. Variable ko hata do. Means variable ke do n minus 1. So it is n minus 1. Plus, see here 2 is the constant. Means this is 1 by 2. Till you can put it outside. So a by 2 alag kar liya. A pehle se bahar tha, 2 bhi bahar a gaya. So finally this is t square with limits n minus 1 n. One more step you can write here. On board it is visible. One more step I think. So S n it is equals to u. See here. Break, uh, now break this uh, bracket. So n minus n plus 1 plus a by 2 a by 2 this is a uh, uh, t in this t square t is replaced by n so it becomes n square minus again t is replaced by n minus 1 here so it is n minus 1 whole square applying the limits here now see This is S. I am writing here S n S n. It is equals to see this plus n minus n zero. So this is remaining one. U multiplied by one is U plus a by two n square. See here. Suppose this is a and this is this is b. So it appears a square minus b square. So you know the uh, relation formula. a square minus b square it is equals to a plus b into a minus b. This is a square minus b square. So a plus b means n plus n minus 1. This is a plus b. I am writing down. Yeah because this portion I think this is shining on the board so plus a plus b or no a minus b so it is n and minus b b ka matlab ho gaya aapko n minus 1 so here ya save easy aap kar sakte ho pe you can break this uh, uh, square formula you know? means a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2 b वहां से भी हो सकता है so finally s nth s nth equals to u plus a by 2 when you will open the bracket this is 2n minus 1 and in another bracket, when this bracket will open, n minus n 0 and minus minus plus 1. This is 1. There you go, n plus n 2n minus 1. Or here, n minus n 0 and minus minus plus 1. This is 1 only. So this is plus, I think, uh, a plus b into, this is into, not multiply, uh, plus. Formula kya hai? A plus B into A minus B. By mistake it was written there. Plus. But here it is multiplied. So finally formula you have, you have S n equals to U plus A by 2 2 n minus 1. This is the formula for distance traveled by the body in nth second. Where A is the acceleration, uniform acceleration of the body, and U initial velocity, and this is the N for which you are measuring the distance traveling with the body. 
so now uh, our next topic is let's discuss about the graphical representation now graphical representation of motion uh, we have discussed in class 9th same thing we have discussed here ke different uh, graphical uh, methods yeah different graphs for different types of motion generally we have two types of uh, graphs distance time graph and velocity time graph the topic is graphical graphical representation graphical representation of different types of motion this is the topic here graphical representation of different types of motion so generally we have two types of graph we have discussed here distance time distance time graph and second velocity time graph similarly distance time graph or displacement time graph velocity time graph similarly speed time graph now see here first distance time graph distance time graph means the variation of distance travel by the body with respect to time is represented on the graph is called distance time graph repeating distance time graph is the graph which represents the variation of position of the object with respect to time so this is first for rest when body is at rest you know the graph type this is distance this is time generally the time x time is represented on the x axis and distance represented on the y axis when the body is at rest then the graph obtained straight line parallel to the time axis second type when body is at uh, in uniform motion सभी क्लास नाइन में पढ़ा हुआ है आप लोगों ने एम रिवाइजिंग जस्ट ओनली हियर तो इन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन मीन्स कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड और वेलोसिटी फॉर विच द ग्राफ ऑप्टेंड इज फॉर डिस्टेंस टाइम ग्राफ वेन वेलोसिटी इज कॉन्स्टेंट या स्पीड इज कॉन्स्टेंट देन ग्राफ ऑप्टेंड इज स्ट्रेट लाइन बट अलाइंड ऑन इनक्लाइंड ऑन टाइम एक्सेस and third third type this is non uniform for non uniform motion in in non uniform motion when the body body's velocity or speed is not constant then the distance time graph obtained curve line not straight line zigzag path or straight line uh, not uh, straight line this is the curve line curve obtained when body is in non uniform motion and the drawing graph is distance time graph so these are the three types of graphs in distance time and now in velocity time velocity time graph this is very important velocity time graph in velocity time graph the velocity is represented along y axis and time is represented along x axis and the first type of graph is for uniform motion uniform motion means constant speed or constant velocity so for this type of motion we have straight line but parallel to the time axis when body is in uniform motion second second type of uh, motion is non uniform non uniform ka matlab hua speed varies speed varies means it may increase or it may decrease aur agar speed continuously increases with constant rate it means it is uniform acceleration 
सो नॉन फॉर्म में उसमें फर्स्ट आपको पढ़ना है यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन सी फर्स्ट वॉज यूनिफॉर्म मोशन ऑन फॉर्म मोशन द ग्राफ लाइन ऑफ एन पैरले टू द टाइम एक्सेस स्ट्रेट बट पैरले टू द टाइम एक्सेस एंड इन नॉन फॉर्म मोशन नॉन फॉर्म मोशन मीन्स स्पीड कॉन्सेंट है नहीं सो द फर्स्ट चांस टू हैव यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन मीन्स बॉडी इज वेलॉसिटी इंक्रीजेस विद कॉन्स्टेंट रेट कॉन्स्टेंट रेट मीन्स यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन एंड फॉर दिस यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन द वेलॉसिटी टाइम ग्राफ ऑप्टेन स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड इंक्लाइन ऑन टाइम एक्सेस all these we have discussed in class 9 i am just uh, here revising all the terms all the type of graphs in velocity time graph the straight line obtained but inclined on time axis for which type of motion uniform accelerated motion next type b in the second non form motion mein first tha uniform acceleration now uh, uniform retardation uniform retardation you know the retardation retardation means negative acceleration is called retardation negative acceleration is called retardation so if the body's velocity gradually decreases gradually de decreases with constant rate then the motion is called motion uh, motion should have uniform retardation motion is said to be in uniform retardation velocity time and for this type of motion we have obtained this type of graph velocity gradually decreases and with constant rate don't straight line but coming down so this is uniform retardation or now if uh, the uh, body's velocity is not constant and uh, it is not increases or decreases with constant rate अभी तो देखा हुआ है कि अगर चेंज हो रही है वेलोसिटी तो इट में इंक्रीज और इट में डिक्रीज तो इंक्रीज इफ इट कॉन्स्टेंट रेट देन द लास्ट ग्राफ वॉज देयर एंड इफ द वेलोसिटी डिक्रीजेस विद कॉन्स्टेंट रेट देन दिस इज द ग्राफ ऑफ टेन नाउ इफ द बॉडी इज वेलोसिटी ग्रेजुअली डिक्रीजेस और इंक्रीजेस बट नॉट एट कॉन्स्टेंट रेट देन यू विल गेट द कर्व लाइन कर्व लाइन मीन्स एग्जैक्ट पार्ट this type of motion when when the body's velocity gradually increases or decreases but not at constant rate so these are the about uh, these are about the about the types of uh, graphical representation of different types of motion one more important point about this uh, velocity time graph you have learned in class 9th see the important point this is suppose velocity time graph for uniform acceleration this is the graph obtained for uniform acceleration and suppose this is the time t1 here so we have learned class 9 ke the area enclosed between area enclosed between graph line obtained and time axis for the given time interval shows the distance or displacement covered by the body in time taken time given here i'm writing here see this area area enclosed area enclosed between vt graph वीडी ग्राफ कोई स्पीड टाइम ग्राफ कह सकता है या वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ सो वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ और स्पीड टाइम ग्राफ एंड टाइम एक्सेस टाइम एक्सेस फॉर गिवन टाइम रिप्रेजेंट्स या इट इज इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू the distance equal to the distance or displacement 
अगर कांस्टेंट डायरेक्शन में फिक्स एक्शन में तो डिस्प्लेसमेंट अदरवाइज डिस्टेंस इन गिवन टाइम आल्सो वी हैव यूज्ड दिस थ्योरी ऑफ दिस दिस ट्रिक टू डिराइव द इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन इन क्लास 9 बाय ग्राफिकल मेथड तो यू कैन प्रैक्टिस फॉर द सेम वी हैव द यूज इन क्लास 9 so this is about the graphical representation of different types of motion so for today's lecture i think this is sufficient so thank you very much and god bless you keep learning always keep learning thank you